Hello, hello, hello. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Staying virus free out there. I'm <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um so I wanted to show you similar to what I did with Skyrim because I know some people watch Fallout 4 and they don't watch Skyrim or they watch Fallout 4 or they watch Skyrim and they don't watch Fallout 4. Um the best way, I mean, you can come out here on Fallout, and you can come into the mod section here, and you can look on any of these rows and find some of the latest mods, right? But the problem is sometimes it's hard to find a mod that you're looking for that somebody tells you about, especially an older mod, because each of these rows only show you about 100 mods. So anything that's older... Then the mod where you hit the end, let's just go over here till we hit the end. Okay, once you get here, any mod older than that, you will not be able to see in this column, or in this row. This is a row, not a column, sorry. Nonetheless, you get the idea. Um, so, once you reach that limit of about 100, you can't see anymore. The only way I know to get around this is to really do a bunch of different searches until you find what you're after, which can be frustrating. Or, as you can use, the Bethesda website. Okay, you can still do this using Edge on your Xbox, okay? I'm on Bethesda's website, and I go to uh, Fallout 4. I actually saved this, and I... I click on Xbox One, so I'm only looking at Xbox stuff. And then if I need to find something, like right now, I need to find, let's see, uh, Vivid Textures, okay? I don't know if that's the exact name of the mod, but it is a mod name that I was told to look. Okay, that's not funny, guys. Oh, there we go. All right. To look for, so... I'm using my keyboard, so just bear with me. It's actually a little faster to use my keyboard. Let's get rid of that keyboard. Alright, so Vivid Textures, I think... Oh, they have some Vivid... There's a, you could do a whole Vivid thing. That would be fun. But that's okay for right now. I think this is probably what they meant, was this Vivid All-in-One. Let me just look through, though. There's Vivid Fallout. It's rocks. Some of these, a lot of Vivid textures. Vivid Landscapes. Okay. Alright. So anyway, if I want to look at one of these and get it in my library or in my... Like, if I do this, if I heart it, basically that will follow it and put it in my favorites. And if I do this, it will subscribe to it and put it in my library. Now let me show you. It won't actually download it. Okay, now it says I followed. Clicked on the heart. So, in my favorites, I might have to refresh this to get that to show up. That's right. Hold on. We have to refresh it because I'm doing both at the same time. Usually, I'm on the website and then I get on the Xbox later. So usually whatever I've done on the website shows up really easily. Um, but in this case, because I'm doing both at the same time, sometimes you have to refresh this, get it to reload. So let's see if we can find that. It should be in my favorites. Don't make a liar of me. There it is. Now it's pretty big. It's pretty big. But this is Vivid Fallout All-in-One. Oh, this takes all those textures and puts them into one thing. Well, thank you, dude. That's great. Look at that. So that will be... That will be very cool. Okay? So I may try this. I don't know if I've tried this before. So I may try that. I'm going to leave it here so we can do a show on it. Um, but, now as another option... If you don't want to put it in your favorites for whatever reason, it's your choice. Let's say I wanted to get Vivid Weathers. And let's see, this is Edition A. What is Edition A? Let's take a look at it for a second. 
So I might actually use this for a show. Come on, load up. It is a little slow, okay? It is. I wish it was a little snappier. But, let's face it, we're on an Xbox. As long as we can get it to work, have a little patience, it's okay. Okay, climate overhaul, yep. Anyway, it's 75. So. Okay. So it gives you a lot of stuff. This sounds cool. So, okay. All right. So anyway, I don't want to keep reading their comments. Sorry. I get I get distracted. But anyway, so what you do, if you wanted to put this in your library instead of your favorites, but now it's not going to download it, okay? That that subscribes you to it, but it does not download it to your Xbox. You still have to go into Fallout. Now you notice it probably isn't going to show up right away. Hold on. Let's just scroll over and see if it's even going to show up. I should have picked something newer because I can only see the first hundred. That's right. So that was a bad choice. Pardon me for a moment. Uh, well, let me show you one thing, though, because we can do a search on Vivid Weather. And I can show you that it does show as subscribed. See, I have subscribed to too many uh, things for the purpose of doing shows. And so I've subscribed to all the things, and, you know, it kind of makes a mess of things. But let's see if we can, oh, search. Oh, that's Nuka World. I don't think I did that one. Oh, no, I didn't do that one. <laughs> Where's the one I subscribed to? Okay, I think I did this one. But I think what we need is for me to pop out and come back in to refresh it. See, that's the problem here. What you're doing on the website is not automatically updated on the Xbox. So you really need to do your stuff on the website and then come to the Xbox or refresh the, the Xbox. Which, I'm sorry to say, is just life. Um, I know that's not thrilling for you. It's not thrilling for me either, but it's life. Um, and I'm getting hungry for breakfast. I may have to go here in a few minutes, but I wanted to show you this and try to do a solid by you. If you're just watching Fallout 4, you might find this of interest. It still does not show me subscribed. Did I not subscribe to that? Was I a doofus? Maybe I clicked on the wrong thing. I'm so sorry. Hold on. We're going to choose something else, something that will show up easier. Because I think I've selected something incorrectly. Okay, it's Fallout 4 Edition A. Vivid Weathers Fallout 4 Edition A. Okay, all right. Actually, let's just let's go find something newer. I apologize. It will show you better if I if I do this in a different way. It'll sh it'll show up easier. I hate to be just downright lazy about it, but this is the easiest way to show you. All right, let's just say. That's the latest. These are some of the latest mods. And see, I already have that. Now, but if we choose these, let's say, um, is there a difference in these nuclear winners? The names look exactly the same. Well, let's just choose that one. Now, I successfully subscribed. Now, see, you can't tell it here. And you can't see it in my library there. But if we hop out and come back... It should update. If it's not updating, you know, the Skyrim one was working just fine for me. <laughs> you can always go see that video. <laughs> Nonetheless. 
Why is it not showing up? Is it too old? Oh, wait, I still had my Vivid on, didn't I? Hold on. That's the problem. Okay, let me slow down a minute. Let's go back. This is another problem. You do have to be patient. Okay, so I unsubscribed. I think my search is... Yes, look at that. My search is still active. So, we have to close out that search. That's the problem. I don't want to do a search now. Here, let's just close that. Okay, it's refreshing. Okay, so this is the latest. Hey, that's something we might be interested in. So look at this. So this is some of the latest stuff right here. See, my list ends there, right? Let me show you on the Xbox. In, 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 the, in the game, sorry. So see, my list ends here. Okay. So let's say we want to put it... I showed you the favorites, right? We favorited something. Yeah, we favorited that, so that's cool. All right, so now I'm trying to show you how to get it in your library if you prefer to use your library. Oh, sorry, this is so difficult. Um, now, normally your library hopefully does not have, you know, 400 different mods like mine does. I've subscribed to too many. But if you come in here and you hit that to subscribe... I'm not sure about some of these other things. Look at this. This is, oh, no DLC. It's another version of that. Um, okay, so we can, I'm not really sure about the doggy stuff, but I would like to see this gun. So, um, so I've subscribed to Aquila Laser Rifle, right? Okay, now you're not going to see it right away, because it doesn't update automatically. See, it's not there, but... This time, when we come back in, it will be there. It'll be the first one on the left. <sighs> if it's truly newer and I've not messed up my search again. Yeah, see, there it is. So you add it here. Now, it's not downloaded, okay? It is not downloaded. I don't want you to think it is. It is not. Hmm, a sci-fi rifle. That might... Oh, it is... That is huge. Why is that so big? Loud. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is really big. 150. Well, we may try this anyway. So anyway, I wanted you to understand that this interface does not work the same as the website. You can go out on the website and you can find stuff really easily, even if it's really old. Um, simply, you know, you can simply do some of the most popular stuff. you know, and find, and find all these things, but some of these will be harder to find on your Xbox, um, depending on how you have to search for it. Like if you went looking for Colts, I don't know how old this mod is, I don't know if you'd be able to find this mod or not, because the limitation on your Xbox search, each of these will only show you 100, so if you do a search, let's say we do a search on Colt, let's just see, how, how many returns we get. Let's see, what's the one we're looking for? Let's look for that one. I don't know how old this one is, though. Oops, I hit the wrong thing. Pardon me. Um, That cult we were looking at. How old is that? I don't know. Well, let's just see if this one shows up or where it shows up at. Um, so it's the WW2 Colt 1911. Okay. So here, see, we are getting some stuff, but we're not getting that one. Now, it might still show up for us. Depends on how old it is and how many cults there are out here. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it did show up for us because there's not too many. Okay. Um, What's a favorite? I'm trying to think of a favorite mod or a favorite subject of mods. I guess we could do 
CBBE. You're only going to get the first hundred. After that, there's going to be a bunch more mods that you're not going to see. Um, and the categories here, it's very hard to search for work in progress. Like, let's go down to work in progress. I don't know if I'm doing this as much as good as much justice. Probably what you should do, <laughs> as much as I hate to say it this way, is look at the Skyrim video I did for this because I went into it uh, in pretty good detail. And I know it's a little long, but the same things apply to Fallout 4 as apply to there. Uh, Bethesda made their website a lot better than they made our interface on the Xbox. Our interface on the Xbox doesn't show you as much. And modders, we need modders to make sure they're using the right categories and not putting things in categories where they don't belong, you know, and creating issues like that, because that makes it harder for us to find stuff. And if you have something in work in progress, you know, if it's done, if it's really done, and, you know, even though you might be doing a few little updates, if it's done, pull it out of work in progress and get it, you know, get it to where we can find it and use it a little easier. Because it's hard for us to find it if it's been down here in work in progress for a while. And I'll show you what I mean. Because they always show, <clears throat> these are the latest ones. The ones on the left are always the latest ones. But if you do work in progress, let's see, do I have a search? I don't have a search. I just have it on... I have it on its own most popular. Okay. So, I'm surprised there's only 288. But, anyway, you cannot see all 288. You can only see the first 100. Okay? So, let's do the latest one so it'll line up like we have on the Xbox. And the same limitation, and the limitation is not with the Xbox itself. It's with the way they made the interface. Okay, I want you to understand, anybody, I shouldn't say it like that, they could have programmed it better. Let's just say that. They could have designed it and programmed it better. That's the way to put it. I'm not trying to be a smart aleck, but I, I'm just an old programmer, and I know they could have done it better. We were doing better interfaces as far as like being able to scroll through the whole list, no matter how big the list was. We were doing that in the 80s, okay? And that's when I was young. <laughs> so definitely you could be doing it now. You have the technology, use it, you know? <laughs> that's my that's my thing. Um, so anyway, <laughs> I know, I know, I I'm, probably I'm sound insane, but it's just a fact. It's just a fact. So you have all these here. I, I would really love to see this come back. Um, that went away, and I don't know why it went away. I was really disappointed, but it was taken down for some reason. But it uh, looks like somebody's going to try to bring it back, and I appreciate that. Um, nonetheless, um, so here we're going to scroll over. We're going to get so far, and then we're going to run out. All right, so we're going to get down to the M2A 1-9, okay? But there's a bunch more after that that you can't see. Now, let's, let's go down a few pages. This takes a little time, so bear with me. Oh, there. Because I think they show you on a, about 20 at a time, so... Yeah, so this is going to take a few pages to get down there. I just thought I would show you on both, because some people don't watch everything. Oh, hmm. see, there's some interesting stuff here. If this stuff is good, then get it out of work in progress. It's hard to find these things. Plus, I don't like to, uh, <clears throat> pardon me, I don't like to do a lot of work-in-progress mods because they are, they do have problems. 
<clears throat> you know, they should be ones that are not complete, and that should have a lot of issues. And I'm okay with that when that's the way it is. I'm not okay with it when that's really not the way it is. Pardon me, getting a little hoarse or froggy or something. <clears throat> and now it is a little slow to load, okay, so it's not the most fun, but. Okay, see, like, we ended here, and it continues on. So maybe we don't even get 100, maybe we get 98. But nonetheless, and then the list continues on. There's a bunch more, but it's very hard to find on your Xbox. You... You can't search for work in progress. You can only search for things that are not in work in progress. So like M2A 1-9. Let's do a search for that. We probably will not be able to find it. Let's see. M2A 1-9. Yep. You can't. You can't find it. Um, let's do another search here. Let's do... Because you saw there was a work in progress. Okay, so you can get these. See that? But it doesn't show you... But it doesn't show you this one. But that one is there. And this is one of those cases where I can actually show you it's there. <clears throat> yeah, see, this is work in progress. And we're at the end, and it's way down here at the end. So you can still see it on the Xbox, but you can't actually search for it. And once there's some more work in progress mods added, this is going to get pushed down and off the list. And then you won't be able to get to it on the Xbox. So it's a complicated thing. They really should have made... Maybe we should thank this guy again. I don't know. But somebody really should have designed a better interface so that you could see all the mods and, and scroll through all the mods. Yes, it would require interrogating the database a little bit or something it it's not that intensive it's not that bad you know it it's done all the time um all right all right so i'll quit grumping about that but i wanted you to realize that the two interfaces are not equal you are much better off if you can come out here on the website even on your xbox you are much better off to come out here find the mod you're interested in especially if it's work in progress or if it's a really old mod, which is harder to locate, and put it either in your favorites or in your library. Now for me, I, I, I tend to use my favorites for this type of thing. I just hit favorite, like I showed you before. That's a little slow. There we go. Because I don't, I don't let my favorites fill up. I, I fill up my library, but not my favorites. So now, I probably need to do a refresh here. So let's load back in. And we'll look at my favorites and we'll be able to see it. And that's another thing. Whatever you do like that through the, uh, through the website, it's not automatically updated. You're going to have to come back and forth. See, here it is. You're going to have to come back in here and refresh this list. So that means popping out and coming back in. But then, ta-da, you get this. Which is cool pictures. I, I don't think there's much to this yet. Anyway, that's all right. It doesn't matter. I was just doing this to show you that. So I don't want to get too distracted. All right. So there you go. That is the way this is. The Xbox interface was not created very well. They could have done a much better job. Mm, but for whatever reason, Bethesda chose not to. I don't know. Maybe they thought this would be easier with a controller. 
I think you could make a controller friendly interface and still have it do the same things that the uh, the website interface does. I don't think it would be that difficult. Um, even if you use these rows the way they have the rows and the categories laid out, it wouldn't be that hard. I'm just just speaking from a programming standpoint as you know an old dude. You know, you have the technology, use it. All right. Okay. All right. So anyway, hope that's been helpful. Thanks for watching, and uh, hope you have a wonderful day, and I will catch you later.